Alrighty, tape is rolling, boys and girls. Getting ready to do Wednesday. Hump day. Quiet on the set. Click. Click. everybody this is Laz and this is Jack welcome to another edition of lunch Laz and Jack where we interpret the news so you... that's right bringing you our own brand of news right here inside Shrouded Avatar five days a week for your viewing and listening pleasure welcome to today's show boys and girls today is wednesday september 27 2017 here inside trinity avatar and it is hump day and uh, we are just a day away from the next release out there and we've got all sorts of stuff to still cover on the pre-release notes uh hoping uh, let's take a quick look because i haven't looked in the last minute or two. Oh, oh you're looking for a new post Looking to see if Star actually gave us the the official post, and it looks like it's there. Release <laughs> 46 instructions. Thank you, Star. Ow. I love you, man. I love you when you make 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 the make a just in time. One yep. minute before showtime. Y you you know what? I see I'm also looking <laughs> forward to the the Q4 post. And, and you, yes, see, you I, see what's I, going I on with my shirt right now? Like, well, you, know, you know. had to start playing with the pussy, and that's what happens when you start doing those yeah, things. You start no playing she, with the pussy, she's, and she's eating once the, it gets its claws into you, that's it, man. You're I, a dead man. That, that is her <laughs> pulling my shirt down. It's like claws are out, and she's trying to eat my headphones cable now. She's, yeah. I'm just waiting for the day that the green screen comes down, it knocks over the lamp, takes your headset off, you know, knocks your chair out from under your own. She, she, has, she has almost taken <laughs> off the headset. I know that. <laughs> yeah. But yes, uh, good. Uh, we do have the actual re full release notes, so we won't be paraphrasing from uh, the pre-release notes, and that's pretty cool. Yes, of we course. do. I mean, uh, we, we have a birthday out there today, and I uh, got to wish a happy birthday to the lovely mistress of chaos, Miss Amber Rain. Oh, yes. Happy birthday to Amber. Uh, she is hanging out in Canada. I, I know she's undergoing some. Up there in the Great clothes, White yeah. North Day. Uh, but yeah. I mean, where's your segue? Yeah, well, happy we got to say, right? I was, I was hoping so that other people would join in and say happy birthday first, but... Uh, happy birthday, happy birthday. birthday. Yeah, well, thanks, people. Thanks. They but, just uh, need a little prompting. Was... I mean... Yeah, yeah. Pro I need a cattle prod over here. Well, you did say quiet it. on the set. Yeah, yeah. You yell at, yeah. You yell at yeah. us yeah, all that, the time, man. That's for the intro. You guys take that too literally. That doesn't mean be quiet for the whole show. Come on now. <laughs> Doing talking right now, huh? So that's we'll right. Talk, we'll stop you anytime we want. Fish. But the, fish. Fish. But uh, there was an announcement yesterday that uh, AR was going offline temporarily. And uh, a lo lot of people were talking about it. And they went off uh, for a little bit of time. But they seem to be back on the air today. 
And uh, there's a chatter on the uh, forums for those people who want to see what's going on. But, uh, you know, just hope everything works out there as uh, they have a release party coming up on uh, Friday. And uh, according to the notes given there, they're going to be doing that. And uh, they're going to be doing the theater troops play. So sort of sort of mixed messages coming out from there. But uh, anyway, release, just, release party in Paxlayer. Release party. Yes, it's supposed to be in Paxlayer this uh, month as well. I, I saw that in the uh, party notes. Now, last time I was out in Paxlayer, Winfield, um, the town still had a uh, chaotic effect. There were ruins all over the places. Uh, Paxlayer cleaned up from all that. Oh or yeah, that's... I, oh yeah, we cleaned it up last week. Well, a couple of weeks ago, months ago, whatever. <laughs> and so we have this keep island now. That's just the party island. And we keep dumping stuff into chests, and we keep pulling stuff out, and we keep, you know, changing things out with the with the magic mover. So I don't know what Sean's got planned for the deco for the Keep Island there in Pax Lair, but I imagine it's going to be fantastic. Him and the crew. Hey, well, we know Sean does a great job with all the stuff he does out there, uh, keeping Pax Lair running with you. But uh, right. all right, cool. So. Uh, yeah, you know, it's a crapshoot at this point. Uh, anybody's guess how Friday is going to go, but uh, we'll be keeping an eye on it, and we'll keep you abreast of the news as we get it here, as we always do. As on we get NBN. it, we, yeah, we do know that the situation right now is fluid as far as what's going on with AR, um, and uh, that and they are online, even though the posting said that they were taking it offline. Yeah, so. and it right now it's just the auto host is online. Um, uh, according to reports we received earlier, uh, DJs did not have access to take over the airwaves right now, but we'll see if that ever gets fixed, resolved. So. Well, eventually somebody's got to do something. But anyway, well, actually, moving right along. We do have lots of other news to cover. That, right? I mean, you want to talk about that stand-up thingy? You know, I would like to start with Chris today because oh, okay. I always get a kick kick out of that. And uh, Chris is, uh, you know, again, well, I, I'll, I'll let it speak for itself. Uh, oh, okay. Everybody knows the Dippy Bird, otherwise known as Eight Toes. Yes. So the Dippy Bird, he's working on... It, he set up a yeah. new internal data box for faster long-term access, which is a Dell R621U rack server with 190 gigs, 192 gigs of RAM. 192 gigs of RAM, what I would give. A dual 6-core 2.3 gigahertz Xeon processors with 8 600 gigabyte 10K hardware rated SAS drives, and thank you eBay because that only cost one thousand fifty dollars. Uh, for those yeah. of you who didn't know, you can get some amazing latest last gen server hardware on eBay for about ten to twenty percent of what it cost three years ago. Yay! Remember, and I, th this is yeah. this is actually Portalarium responsibly spending our money. They don't need the latest and greatest hardware, uh, and instead they're looking at some re some used hardware and just now could they have gone and bought the latest and greatest top of the line and spent ten thousand dollars on a nice rack grade server of oh, course they could have. yeah but you know they don't do that and uh that's one of the reasons why i wanted to jump to this right off the bat yeah but i also got a kick out of uh the power consumption thing you know is that yeah, mo uh, most big companies dump them because new boxes have a better CPU power to watt ratio. And, yeah, and, and uh, what we really needed this for was memory. Yeah, they're dumping really great hardware just for, you know, a little energy savings. But I guess when you're running big corporations, uh, that savings lasts over time. But well, when you're the, the, just running one or two servers, you're not saving a whole lot of money, you know. Even if you're running a thousand servers, that new investment in cap the capital expenditure, I mean that that's also another way for ID departments to justify their budget. So that that's part of why it's done. Because if you 
run off of the existing hardware for, you know what, I can do this for five years. Hey, it's still working. Let's keep it around for a couple more. Your budget hey, gets slashed. Hey, come on, man. The air traffic control system over in Europe still running on Windows 3.1 for crying hey, out loud. You, 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 you know what? <laughs> You, you know what? Th that's because they didn't allocate their, their budget very well. Yeah, I don't know what they're spending their money on. But when I heard that one, I had a laugh. Yeah, uh, but but as soon as something happens with that, you know that they're going to end up spending millions on that. Well, you, you know what they allocated the money? They allocated the money to pay to one Fuckers? guy who still knows how to fucking fix that thing because I, they've got to hire the one guy who can fix it, you know? It's like, know, it's like for hookers and cheese. Yeah. Hookers and cheese. Well, that's great for the budget. And now. some, some table wine. Here. <laughs> then uh, after that, uh, the, so that's going to assist with their data mining internally. And then at the same time, they were getting a build done yesterday or today and it crashed. It has some serious issues and they're shooting for yeah. kicking off a gold candidate ASAP. So today is going to be lots and lots of builds today is gonna be a fun day down at the offices because yes uh as everybody knows uh they gotta get that release in the can by tomorrow morning now of course uh i i have no question in my mind uh 46 months in a row we've hit it right on time and i guarantee that they'll hit it right on time tomorrow one way or another so Hey, they were late by a few minutes on one of them. Yeah. <laughs> but, but at the same yeah. time, it's it, that's a few minutes. <laughs> no big deal. Yeah. L little hiccup. Uh, you know, somebody forgot to flip on the uh, switch on the circuit breaker on the extension cord. But well, the, the good thing <laughs> is they're, they're no longer finishing those builds for our, the servers at 1 a.m. the night before. So that, well, that's... That seems to have correlated when Jack stopped bringing beer every Thursday, every Wednesday after the show. Does that have any correlation? She used to go down on Wednesdays after the show and the builds didn't get done till one o'clock. Now you don't. There, there, there is no more. correlation between the two. <laughs> None at all. I, I, yeah. It makes me wonder, you know, things that make you go, hmm. Nope. No correlation whatsoever. <laughs> Yeah. But moving right along. So we do have the stand-up corner. Don't forget stand-up corners where the devs say, hey, I worked on this yesterday. I'm working on this today. Something random gets written down, eventually gets posted to the interwebs, and we get to interpret it so you don't have to. That's right. Don't forget to join in on the NBNN drinking game if you're having a liquid lunch out there. Every time I say the word bug, you take a drink. This is in the art department yesterday. Bob the Builder. Death Bunny Bob. Working on those golden palisade walls. Where is Damon? Damon Walter. Updating U Unity and Agriculture and Fireworks. Yes, I, need I must update box the of fireworks. fireworks. Yeah, can I get another box of fireworks, please? I don't have enough boxes of fireworks. Yes, I need an updated box of fireworks. <laughs> Pretty soon I'll be selling those box of fireworks. You know, I, 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 if I took all the fireworks I had, I could probably fill a chest to close to max. Uh, <laughs> do, you, do you remember Not that exactly. party where it's like I pulled out all of my fireworks? Or uh, I, I yeah, pulled out, I, mean, I, I pulled out what, 10, I've 11 gotta, boxes? I've got to have at least 10 to 12 boxes off in storage that are not even in the game yet, let alone oh, the number man. of boxes I've got in the game. So uh, let's put it that way. I have more than that. <laughs> but you know, those those are the ones that you couldn't buy. So there's a reason why those are off in storage. Yeah. Then, uh, let's see. Fletcher. Fletch lives. Working on bugs. Bug. And Oracle monitors. Someone's finally going to start monitoring the oracle and trying to keep her from doing weird weird things with those uh pinnacles don't trust the oracle the oracle lies she only does what she was programmed to do yes where's the ugly fist working on bugs bug 
and avatar seams. He's trying to make it so that way your hand is connected to your forearm. You mean so my hand is going to actually match the color of my forearm too? W w without those little trusty lines. W without the mannequin and yeah, without the mannequin look. That'd be nice. Yeah. Whereas the I just like to be able to just take the hand off and like well, put a sword on, you know, that would be I, cool. I'm going to <laughs> reference one of my favorite songs as a child, uh, Detachable Penis. <laughs> do you remember that song? I do not. I, I didn't have childhood songs like that. Oh, man. And then I had breakfast at the Kiev. Yeah. Yes. You got to remember also, my father was a so, musician. So someone remembers it. Songs I got that to would be to Omen Crow. Right. I have yeah. that song. Omen <laughs> Crow is going to be playing that on his next set, maybe. There we even go. Though, even though it does not fit within the genre. I'll play it for you, Jack. Okay, thank you. Love you long time. See, ask and ye shall receive, my friend. Uh, then after that, work, uh, <laughs> let's see. The almighty Gix Vargach, Matt. He's working on bugs. Bug. You too, much. What? <laughs> I think it's funny that it's like I'm remembering songs that you should remember. I, I, I find it hysterical, but that's all right. <laughs> Only a thirty-something-year-old song. Uh, then after that, uh, let's see. Uh, read. Read. Yeah. We're gonna bugs. Bug. Which takes us to design. Design. We're beezus. The bees. Working on agriculture. Release forty-six loot and recipes. Sea wolf. Yeah, Luke needs a needs an overhaul big time. Sea wolf. Oops. So, how do you confuse the bong hit and uh, bubbling with sea wolf? Uh, my my finger slipped instead of hitting eight. It hit five because it didn't reach far enough on the numeric keypad. That's how I do. Okay. I think you should get... everybody's heard about the bird. That's what you get. Last, <laughs> the sound guy. Because Sidereus is... I really miss it. I, 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 I really it, do. Always at work. Hanging out. All, all, all the temporary staffers that we've had come through here. And then, yeah, I don't say temporary, but they just they come in. They do a bit of a routine for a while, and then they fade away, and they come back in. The, the unpaid interns. That's what it is. The unpaid interns. Yeah. Thank you. The, the unpaid interns. Uh, the, <laughs> where, whereas we are the unpaid. The, uh, the unpaid hosts. Yes. That's right. Uh, <laughs> unless you make substantial donations to twitch.tv slash cynicist. Uh, then after that, let's see where Seawolf is working on bugs. Bug. And Black Blade Foothills Underground. Where, where is no more Mr. Nice Guy, Damien. Damien. Working on those. Uh, uh, where am I at? I forgot. Who, who am I reading? Damien. <laughs> Bugs. Bug. And, and he's working on watching the forums. He's just hmm. he's just trolling the forums. That's it. It's like, yep, 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 yep. Horn. Okay. Then after that, uh, let's see. Dan the man. Dan the man, Brennan. He's trying to support Laz's basement, where all things go to die. They're all gonna die. See, I, I'd much prefer going over to Minerva's basement because I know I'll get lucky. I heard well, it on the radio. At least you get plugged. I, I heard it on the radio. You'll get lucky. Then after that, buddy's home. Over in <laughs> Player, Towns, Player, Player Towns and release 46 post review in bugs. Bug. Sanyo working on the bugs. Bug. And navigation. 
And trying to plan for release 47. Boy, he's getting ahead of himself. I know, way ahead. I mean, it's like pretty, I love it. pretty soon he'll be getting ready for launch and we'll be like, what? We're waiting for a big announcement. We're waiting for the other shoe to drop. Hey, maybe it are, was already posted. I don't know because I'm looking at this page. Yeah, same here. Yeah, Lum the Mad. So you keep looking at that. Yeah, I'll look at another page. Oh, if Lum I open up another page, it's going to be something <laughs> where I need to take a little break for a few minutes. And then I'll come back yes. like I need a nap. Let's read and see an in. Then after that, Lum the Mad. Working on bugs. Bug. And localization. And quests. And forums. Hey. Sorcerer Steve. Plugging those bugs. Bug. And North Wellway. Whereas the Energy Vortex. List Rostov. Working on the bugs. Bug. And North Midmere Way. You notice something didn't didn't show up? But didn't show up. Over in tech. Bobby. Little Bobby Thompson. We're gonna on Dr. Bob. Sound effects user face and user interface sound effects. So the sound effects user interface and then the user interface sound effects. Hmm. Yeah. Be nice if it has something to do with playing music. Don't know what you're talking about. And bugs. Mm -hmm. Bug. Eric. Working on the bugs. The bugs. And pet emotes. And navigation updates. Yay, why? Trying to update some conversation keywords and localization and server errors. Syntax error. Try again. And the energy vortex wants us to know that he's around, just so that way he can summon some blood rain or that. Oh, we know he's around. Yeah, and, and, and he not only that, he decided to puke blood on me. Oh, well, that was nice. I, I don't he's know out, if he, I don't out. know if he was above me or not because it wasn't on screen. He he's out in his uh, party dress. Oh yeah, he he, he is the wicked witch of the west. Look. He is the wicked witch. Witch. I I just yeah I I get a kick out of that look, man. It's so cool. <laughs> I I think it's hilarious. I mean the in in game cosplay of the wicked witch is pretty awesome. Moving right along. Looking at lists, this clothes. Yeah, been there, done that. I, I think it's funny that she's wearing, she's wearing ruby slippers. Oh, I didn't look that close. Yeah, if you <laughs> if you swirl her dress around really fast, you can get a, a a hint of the ruby slippers underneath. Or if you watch her walk, and you can watch the clipping. And or you could always hover over her character sheet and see, hey, list, dude, seriously, ruby slippers, and the wicked witch with the ruby slippers. How are we gonna get home? There's no place like home. There's no place There's like no home. There's no place like NBNN. Oh. There's no place like NBNN. Yep. That's how he's gonna get home. <laughs> yeah, that. So we have Eric working on bugs. Bug. And emoting pets in navigation updates. Whereas JY. Didn't you already do JY? I don't know. I don't know. I, I don't think I read ser server errors yet. Ah, oh, okay. Conversation keywords and localization and server errors. I, I squirrel. I, I don't know where I'm at. I, squirrel. You act like I pay attention to this stuff. <laughs> it's like wizard smoke. And working on the <laughs> puff puff passing around bugs. Bug. And agriculture. He's working on the speed weed. And user interface. The Death Ringer one and only working on tree bugs. Bug. Because the Reaper, it's got a termite infestation. It's a little buggy already. Yeah, it's I mean termites are affecting the tree the, the Reaper. 
Not a good thing. And bugs. Bug. The burning toad. The burn. Scratching the itch that's known as tree bugs. Bug. And decoration updates and localization and builds and entrance spawns. Trying to make sure that he can you can choose where you want to land in town. Then over in useless over overhead we had Andrea watching the forums. And forum bugs. Bug. The dippy bird working on bugs. The bird. Bug. And triage bugs. And build Bug. direction. Gorn. He's he working on that business. Not yet. He's working on the leads meeting first. Ah. Then he's working on the the business. Then he's working on he's then he's giving him the business. Okay. Then he's trying to figure out um which way is north so that way he can conduct a survey. Hmm. Survey? Survey says work on it. <laughs> oh, I moving right along. Barrick working on the promotions and store updates and contests and meetings. Hutch is working on decoration bugs and trees. Bug. The prison basement because Adultima needs a little bit more. Mm -hmm. Adultima is about to get a whole lot more interesting. Oh, people. yes, it is. And screenshots. Screenshots or it didn't happen. And there will be screenshots, and they need to be making their way to nudes at nbnn.info because the nbnn calendar it won't come out this holiday season if we don't have the screenshots for it. Nudes at nbnn.info. Uh, the Attenwood working on sanity testing and regression tests and known issue documentation. Chaos is working on the data collection requests and release 46 reward delivery and bonus direction. Serafina working on regression tests and customer service and add on descriptions. Whereas the Dork Star is working on Q4 planning and press and leads meeting and the release 46 post. It takes Which a while to get that thing. Yep, we have that. We have that. We have that. That's right. Now, I got to uh, comment out there to uh, Pete the Noob. Pete, that was uh, in comment to you. You would Detachable penis. Yeah. 10K on a nice rack. Well, you know, it's, uh, you got you got to see the video of me with $5 on a balcony on Bourbon Street. That's all I'm going to say. So, Who hasn't so if you want to send one? some. <laughs> I spend five dollars, maybe, but. <laughs> and uh, the weird thing about like uh, um, um, those kind of working girls, it's amazing what they'll do for a dollar. I tell you what, yeah. It's all good. It's, it's all a good. tough life. It's amazing what they'll do for a ham sandwich and a drink. <laughs> You speak you you speaking uh, from experience over here <laughs> i have relatives that live down there uh-huh all right hey all right we, we need to send some aid to puerto rico puerto rico well you know is uh i really feel bad for everybody down there puerto rico and uh you know again one of the one of the big plights there is uh you know, it's an island. I mean, literally. I mean, we can't just send trucks from one state to another there. All the trucks and all the equipment they have on that island is what they have until they can ship more. And that's, you know, that takes a few days. You know? Oh, yeah. But, uh, yeah, you know, prayers go out to all those folks. And, of course, uh, hearing some good news out of Puerto Rico that, you know, they, they are coming along slowly but surely but uh, they, they desperately need a lot more help out yep. there lots of help i i do know that they asked for some ham operators uh 50 of them to go the red yes, cross absolutely that. So that is being done so but keep uh, puerto rico 
in your thoughts, and if you can, send some aid. Send some aid. Yeah, and I lost where I was at. <laughs> uh, we were going to I, the release 46 notes, I, I know believe. We were, but I accidentally closed that tab. Uh, ah. I had to go finish it. Uh, we do have release 46 posts with lots of pretty pictures, including the new Headless Horseman statue, which I think is badass looking. I hadn't gotten to the Headless Horseman um, statue. The Headless Horseman Grim Reaper there statue is. is phenomenal. I love the fact there. that it's the light source for it, the... Yeah, it, that, that's a badass statue. I like that one. Very cool looking. Yes. So yesterday we were around um, the quest reset delayed, which is right after the player own or the uh, scene fixes. All right. The uh, the quest reset delay has been delayed until release forty seven because there's still not enough side quests along the truth and courage quest paths. And performance work delayed their completion and testing of all parts of this functionality. So, that gives me the grand opportunity to finish and get my Shroud of the Avatar before I go redo all those quests and collect 100,000 XP again. Yay. Again. <laughs> uh, then, performance, uh, significant focus was work uh, spent on in trying to improve performance, stability, frame rate, memory, and load times. As far as load times goes, you can read Chris's previous post about that. And their number one priority is to reduce load times. It's been a substantial amount of programming time uh, researching ways to improve load times. They started by having a dedicated machine that automatically loads up loads every map in the game and records the load times from an SSD and also from a platter drive. They then map those load times against different builds to see what effects our changes are having on a day-to-day -day basis. And so they're internally tracking metrics. Hey, did this change okay. work on something? Did this work on something? Did this? Did this? Did this? Yay! Testing. Uh, they have identified a number of additional fixes that will happen in future releases. And the work done this release has already shown dramatic improvements with many maps loading in roughly half the time of release 45. That means that I should broach the 32nd barrier again. You think? Something. Uh, shader cleanup. They More than a dozen additional shader copies were purged from the project. Uh, those were causing both some memory bloat and also increasing load times as the shaders were compiled. And then they... Bloat. Had bloat. Removing some bloat. That by also purging of Unity standard assets, uh, they managed to remove all the built-in Unity assets, and those were adding as much as 60 megabytes to each scene file load. Yes, now, as my understanding, they've cleaned up 2 gigabytes of download just by cleaning some of that stuff out. Yeah, that was in one of Chris's uh, notes. Um, so, yes. The built-in shader was also removed. The standard shaders were removed from the project, and that cuts the load time and memory footprint and was essentially a set of duplicate shaders as the port shader has all the st standard functionality and more. And that was not a small task because many things in Unity are hard-coded to insert the shaders by default. And then they deferred the initialization. Work was done to defer the registration and initialization of a few object types, including lights and doors. Those near the player are initiated immediately, but once further away, load and over time. So as you're in a scene, especially a town, you'll be constantly loading new objects. Yay. About time. You mean like who who owns a lot? Something like that. As Spiff will tell you, there is a, a little bug where sometimes you, you can load. load. It takes two minutes for some, some things to load. And so you'll see, hey, there's an empty lot. Let me go claim it. 
and it's not really empty. It it's just has not loaded. empty. Yes. Uh, the object startup optimizations. Many objects had inefficient code for initialization. The worst of these were cleaned up, but many more need work and rework. And they also pulled a bunch of objects uh, and use a recycled pull objects instead of recreating them on each map load. This reduces memory thrashing because you know what? 80s, late 80s, early 90s thrash metal was the music of choice. Some anthrax right now, followed by some Slayer. Yay. Long Dio. Live. But Dio wasn't thrash metal. But 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 we do need a rainbow in the dark, and then uh, or a holy diver. It, absolutely. <laughs> uh, the build size was cleaned up some, and all of this removal of stuff has reduced the install and patch size. Uh, work is still ongoing, but the initial changes cut the install size by almost two gigs on Windows. The memory footprint. Print, Didn't I just say that? Yes, you did. And it was in the notes, too. Woohoo! Memory footprint. This wasn't their focus. This issue, they did manage to shave several hundred megabytes off the memory footprint. Additionally, memory fluctuation from scene to scene has been reduced through lots more work, though lots more lot work will be done in future releases. Offline spawning for single pl player is delayed. Again. Uh, crafting, they did a bunch of polish on agriculture, including the additions of new skills and functionality like batch planning. Agriculture batch recipes for planting, watering, and harvesting can now be done as a targeted area of effect skill that increases in size and speed as you improve them. Increasing the size... The area size. of effect, uh, instead of it being a circle, is it a rectangle? It is. I said, is it? I don't know. I don't know. Have you tested it? Apparently not. And, and apparently, they don't want you to learn the skill on the test server because it's not anywhere you can learn it. Yeah. Got to got to go. Uh, go load the QA client again and see if they put it in. It was in the last release. Yay! Yay! So, can you answer the question? Is it a circle or is it a rectangle? It's a circle. It's a circle. Yep. <laughs> like all things in life, it's a circle. Circle of life. Along with circle the circle of trust. trust. <laughs> Are you inside the circle of trust? <laughs> Currently you're right. <laughs> <laughs> then new recipes were added, including two grandfather clocks, two mana clocks, two wall clocks, prison sign, pillory, and the prison cage. Because we need the stocks because Laz loves being put in the stocks and he loves the butt slaps. And now gotta, we need the butt slap emote so that way we can properly give Justin her birthday slaps at SodaCon. Uh, antique furniture, including coffee tables, round in tables, dressers, dining tables, dining chairs, hallway table chairs, uh, carved arm chairs, and drawer tables. A crap ton of gear patterns were added added including most importantly the scythe and the gambesons a few different gambesons lots of gambesons they fixed a long-standing bug with falling trees uh, uh, fishing polish and alcohol were delayed again so you can't get too in-game drunk yet or you can't brew your own so BYOB is still bring your own coming. beer it's not it brew your coming. own beer uh, character. I know. They did add the Treacher, which is the Reaper. Uh, it will appear randomly as a... We could always refer to it as the Tree Mimic. Ent, man. Ent. Ent. Angry so when I'm harvesting the trees, Ent. it's going to just come to life and start whacking at me, huh? Yes. And yeah, yes. for release... If you haven't seen the animations, they're pretty cool. Yeah, too. release 46, they're only in two maps. Savernax, Stronghold, and Ulfheim. So don't forget, only two maps for a couple of releases. Be making a trip out there. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. I, I want to see them in action. You want to go watch the wood flailing? I want to see what well, they drop. Well, they just, it looks good 
on the sketch fabs, but again, I want to see how you just want to go watch the tree flailing. That's what it yeah. is. I, I I understand you. I mean, I I so, just sometimes need some you just wood. need to go see the wood. I, yeah. I just need some wood. That's really just what it comes down to. Zodacon <laughs> and my kilt. You're gonna be loving it. <laughs> my kilt's packed. That's all I gotta say. I need to go uh, pick mine up and then wash it because. Uh, Is that on the floor of your car too? No, it's it's at my brother's farm. <laughs> uh, in so, a plastic container that has been exposed to the elements. So those ants, once you kill them, do you skin them or chop them? They're not ants; they're reapers. Yeah. So once you kill them again, do you have no skin idea. them or haven't, chop haven't, them? Haven't gone out to see anything on the QA yet. You'll find out tomorrow. I don't know. Go log into the QA. Go go to... Yeah, you want to uh, find out? Go over to Savin Yark right now on the QA and, and let Ol us know. Olfheim, one of the two, <laughs> and kill some. Uh, the Viking outfit uh, was updated for the merchants. Norgard now has some braided hairstyle by worn by the citizens. Um, and it's available for the male and female avatars. Yellow dragons have come in, but be prepared. If you get the purple dragon head and you try to mount it, it may lose all of its color because of blood loss. <laughs> I was waiting to see when that was going to make its way into the purple dragon jet, but yeah. <laughs> what? I did one the other day as well. I, I, missed that one. <laughs> I did several of them the other day when we were making fun of you for... My purple dragon, and I did do hey, It's the second times. time that happened to my purple dragon, you know? It's not like it. <laughs> so, I, I'm kind of curious. Uh, are you practicing for something with the two? <laughs> no separation. It's it, it's the two. Uh, sides, don't forget. Yeah. New two. <laughs> Just and two. One. Just two. Two. With two the and one. one. Yeah. Mm -hmm. No, no, just the two and the one. <laughs> uh, the sides coming in for the Halloween season. Uh, don't forget, uh, there will be the ornate battles scythe available on the add-on store. And there is a 2017 rare version that is only available for a limited time. So don't forget, pay attention to it. Uh, doublets and gambesons are now loot. And ornate versions have been added to the add-on store. Seven new swords in-game that can be gained by fighting mid-tiered humanoids, skeletons, liches, elves, urban cultists, and red sash bandits. Um, quivers are now in-game. Quivers. 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 And um, th this is really funny. Smell good. Aw, oh, smell the bread. I That just makes me laugh so much. <laughs> Because let, let's go to a, a little etymology for some people that may not know. Anybody that knows how to say pussy in Spanish? Chicha? No. Uh, I'll, I'll, right. I'll, I'll, get, I'll, I'll get you started. The, the root is pan, that. which is the <laughs> Spanish word for bread. Okay. Or why? Smell the bread. Or smell bad. Oh. <laughs> Which is smell the fish. Fish. Yes, yeah, so smell the bread or smell I have the no fish. I idea where he's going with this. Yeah. Live, people. Live. <laughs> come, come. Laz, you're not getting it. Both of them are. Both of them are euphemisms for. Diving the moth. I don't know where bread comes into that, buddy. Muffin. Muffin. Yeah. Yeah. Th that's because you don't know your some you start, Spanish. You start talking about bread down there. I'm thinking yeast infection. So, you know, I mean, you know, that, that, that's not advertising. <laughs> <laughs> that's true, too. <laughs> Time. Moving right along. Moving right. But I'm not the one that put that in the notes. Right. Yeah. I, I boning. I, <laughs> I'm not the I, I just interpret these things, man. 
yeah, that's right. Moving along. Lots of new clothes, <laughs> lots of new weapons. The ability to make your pet sit has been added in release 46. And in release 46, that happens by default whenever your pet is idle. Now you can command non-combat pets, <coughs> deco pets, to yeah. sit from the right-click menu. Can you make them not sit? That would be helpful. Hey, you, you know what? If you could set, like, the patrol area, that would also be awesome. Yeah, well, you know, it'd be nice. I mean, I got and my If uh, it's a cat, it should there. just randomly do whatever it wants. But I, I can make my little airship there do a nice little little dance. You bought that off the add-on store? Oh, come on. I had to have it. Okay. A few blip. Uh, bug fixes related to gear. Player housing. They added a bunch of new houses. Including the return of the haunted gothic village inn or something like that. Prison homes. Ornate stocks. Bone chimes, which will be soon decorating the inn being in lots. You mean you're actually going to put something on your lot? I've got lots of things on, on my lot. <laughs> I mean... Lately, it's been the magic disappearing lot, so I don't know. Y yeah. You know what? Stradmarketplace.com. Go visit Cynesis shop and uh, buy all my stuff. So, you yeah, I can empty can my buy lot. stuff yeah. right off Jack's lot. That's right. That's right. <laughs> Everything is for sale, including me. Yeah, I thought that was Scrotus gig, man. You're going to be encroaching on his territory. I charge a little bit more than $5 that. because... Oh, okay. I guarantee that after two minutes, um, I won't be taking a nap. <laughs> I'll be going to the bathroom. Then I'll be taking a nap. Uh, then after that... Uh, You'll be prying the claws out of your leg. <laughs> yeah. That too. As long as the cat doesn't play with my nutsack, I'll be fine. Because that would hurt. Uh, then after that... <laughs> Uh, number decorations, they have added 10 number one items to the ornate package as de number decorations in order to better facilitate numbering ends. Does that include the number two, the number three? Like, come on, guys. Um, the talk has been to add several of different numbers, so like five number ones and five number yeah, twos. But... The statement here is that we have added 10 number ones to the ornate package of number decorations. And number one. Just number, number one. one not number two. Just number one. I don't know. Lots Maybe they're wanting us to number in binary. Yes. That's, that's what they want. But then they also need to increase the zeros. Uh, craftable clocks, uh, antique furniture collection, sigil tapestries uh, are now available on crown merchants. Um, houses and furniture fixes, a bunch of those were looked at. The release 45 raffle. Remember, 10 place anywhere deeds, 10 EOT only deeds, which means no new player can really f afford to get a new house. Yay. Release 46 raffle is also going to be 10 of each. Remember, you can only win one of each kind. No, you can only win one. No, you can only one of each. Oh, I did not know that. I, I thought you could win one or the other. You couldn't win more than one per raffle. Each person can only win a single deed of each type. Hmm. One place anywhere, one POT. Very interesting. That is correct. Or one purple dragon head. The real question is... I just wish it was purple. Yeah. The real question yeah. is that reset Not per ahead. raffle or is it forever? It should be per raffle. I know, it should be. Yeah. <laughs> should just have deeds available in game and that's, uh, th that's yeah. even more important and they better do that <laughs> soon uh, a tons of uh, POTs were updated and then we do have combat 
Want to talk about some combat? Nope, we don't have time. Combat? Nah, we'll get to that later. Because Minana? you know me and combat. Minana? And, uh, yeah, we, we, we may get lucky and you may get to uh, just sidestep all that once uh, we get in to start play tomorrow. So I'm going to be trying to finish a quest tomorrow, I think. But yes, it's that time. Uh, we've got to actually move on. We're running a little bit behind our normal schedule out there. So I'll go ahead and start telling you about the wonderful NBN Enchanted Avatar app we have for you folks out there. Available on the Google Play Store, the Apple iTunes Store, or the Amazon App Store for all your electronic devices. If you want to take the latest and greatest happenings in Trinity Avatar with you on the road, to the restroom, hang out and watch in the office while you're bored doing the daily grind. Check out the NBN and Trinity Avatar app, and you can uh, do things like listening on the radios. You can check out our live streams. You can listen to the podcast. You can check out the forums. You can even come on into Discord. You can read the NBN and Daily Britannian, or you can check out the NBN and Trinity Avatar community calendar. Uh, find out what's going to be going on in game when you get off work from that daily grind or when you get off the can, whatever it is you're doing. <laughs> and it's available for free. On the nbnn.info website, just click on the calendar button. Don't forget all times on the community calendar or central time in the real world, but we prefer to refer to it as Nude Britannia time. Nude and Britannia. Laz has meticulously aggregated all of the available calendars Blood related to right of the avatar that he knows about and do you, if you have a community calendar related to right of the avatar or if you want to add your events and you have a gmail account you need to email news at info, yes, and that guy will eventually do something with it oh uh, don't forget 12s and 6s around the clock on radio free britannia W R F B. You can listen to two idiots interpreting the news, so you don't have to on a little show called Lunch. Us. With these guys. At 7 p.m. is the EVL Virtue League PvP tournament taking place in Virtue Isle. Don't forget that is inside of Virtue Oasis. At the same time on Radio Free Britannia. W R F B. Is the 70s at 7 on AR at 8 p.m. You know who's not going to be connecting because they can't connect yet, and hopefully they get that resolved soon. DJ Squirrel's going to be biting through the wires. He's going to be biting through the wires trying to get himself on air. Trying to get connected, yes. But at the same time, you know what's definitely going to be happening? At eight, eight, at eight, eight p.m. The doctor on the doctor is gonna be in. on Radio Free Britannia. Your ear holes are going to be probed, and this is going to be a thorough probing of your ear ear holes by none other than Doctor Eclipse Maiden for unmedicated schizophrenia. Part un. Un. 8 p.m. in game, we have Striker Sparhawks Happy Hour taking place in. I can't remember. going to be in what? Justin's town today. Wolfsden? I believe it's going to be in Wolves Den. That's yeah. right. Don't forget. Happy Hour is hanging out in Wolves Den. You can listen it is, to it is the stri- Eclipse of Maiden. Yeah. It is Laza's favorite event of the week because it's also known as Spin Sparhawks Gold. Yes, that's right. Get virtually drunk. I on love getting free drinks on, on somebody sp- else's money. On his, his virtual dime at that. Yeah. That's virtual right. drinks on his virtual virtual dime. real yeah I'm, I'm in man where do i go and hi clipsy how you doing clipsy yeah moving on or, or, or was that mother that i heard might oh, have been it mom town, it was oh, mom okay. it was mom hi mom yes and hi, mom. The final event hi. of the evening is on radio free britannia and that is the record room W R F B, and that's our that that is our community calendar for Hump Day, September twenty seventh. In Hump Day, out of the Avatar, the Avatar. That's right. 
And of course, we're going to just breeze on through here today. Uh, of course, you guys know the drill. You're watching nbnn.info, Lunch with Laz and Jack, and listening on WRFB Radio Free Britannia. Thanks for joining. Thanks for watching. And of course, for you guys out on YouTube, thanks for your support as well. Uh, Think Pink coming to you with community causes throughout the year. Upcoming uh, Think Pink October is fighting breast cancer and the donations are pouring in. Cloak should be in game by tomorrow, hopefully Friday the latest. See this guy over here? No, that guy over there. That guy. Uh, he'll be getting them out to you. So if you've made your donations, you'll be able to get your cloaks coming up here uh, with the Think Pink campaign. Coil more wands, putting the magic in your hands. Looking for custom wands, custom staves? Check out Area's Coilmore shop. Scrota's music. It's Scrota. It's music. We'll tell you more in a moment. The Britannian Money Company wants you to check out Market Road, located in Black Rock Cove in the Quell region, right next to the town of Exeter. Relicsbyreal.com for all your licensed Trinity Avatar swag. If you're looking for t-shirts, looking for hats, looking for patches, or the elusive NBNN I Love This Shit bumper sticker, check out relicsbyreal.com and you too can get yours. And if you want to save a little money when you check out, use the promo code NBNN, that's right, these guys, and you'll save 10% off your purchase when you check out at relicsbyreal.com. Of course, WRFB Radio Free Britannia bringing you all sorts of news and events throughout the week. Arius Coilmore with the GMC Top 20 on Mondays. The Deco Divas with the lovely Eclipse Maiden tonight. And there's Justin tomorrow. Sarah and Ander are later on in the evenings. Uh, House of Omen with uh, DJ Omen Crow. And of course, can't forget the Wake Up Crew every Saturday morning. Waking you up and starting your weekend off right, right here on WRFB. And of course... Jack and I throughout the week bringing you the latest updates and happenings. And last but definitely not least, TroutMarketplace.com, where you too can get your virtual vend on. If you got stuff you want to get rid of, stuff you want to buy, go check out TroutMarketplace.com. And uh, Jack, while he loses his lighting, will go ahead and fill <laughs> no, you it, in and tell you all it, about It's that. worse than that. Cat <laughs> is playing with power cords right now. And Oops. <laughs> and uh she moved something and i lost my monitor <laughs> my primary monitor so uh <laughs> so you don't need nope. your monitor <laughs> i yeah i kind of do you got uh, a camera be, be surprised you still got a camera so. yeah uh so don't forget uh shroud marketplace is the place to go buy or sell anything shroud of the avatar related and you too can set up your shop on shroud marketplace oh just my, register an account oh and then turn around click on vendor registration and you can be like the latest vendor kane's deeds and start putting your items up for sale on shroud marketplace and kane has already put up there a place anywhere taxable village deed so if you're looking for some housing uh you can always go to shroud marketplace go to housing and then click on lot deeds and you can find an assortment of lot deeds available um, then also don't forget the deco divas, uh, started putting up, uh, deco packs to help you decorate your rooms in your house. Uh, Skaggy started putting up some reagents just to make everybody a little bit happier. Anything and everything shroud of the avatar related can be bought or sold on shroud marketplace from accounts, the game gold crowns of the obsidian store credit all the way to services, anything and everything including yeah you know what leveling services offered by mouse power hour or by armelian's gold and more cheese sign writing offered by wolfdom shop Jeez, scrotus right. music service thing where scrota follows you around for five bucks for an hour and does anything you want and if you're looking for an in-game wedding you need to contact this guy, Lazarus Long's weddings and more, not just weddings, but a whole lot more. If you're looking for those uh, recall and teleport scrolls, you're looking for uh, goodies left over from telethons, you're looking for a place to get hitched, you're looking to get your wedding done. 
Come to me and I've got everything you need. I've got gowns. I've got tuxedos. I've got lakeside locations. I've got seaside locations. I've got underground. We've got above ground. You name it, we've got it. Not just weddings, but a whole lot more. Weddings and more. Basement to boot. That's right. Shroud Marketplace is the place to go buy or sell anything Shrouded the Avatar related. And everything is run by different players. Different vendors are responsible for maintaining their own. plus vendors out there. That's right. 72. And every vendor is responsible for setting their own prices and maintaining their own inventory. But yay. Uh, And it's actually time for us to thank the most important people around here. And that's you guys. Thank you for watching on Twitch, YouTube, or listening on Radio Free Britannia. WRFB. Dot rocks. Dot rocks. That's right. We couldn't do the show without you. you guys, and we do it for you guys. So thank you for hanging out with us. Our That's right. Again, uh, time is short, and uh, so are we. So we're going to go ahead and get on out of here for today. Again, thanks for tuning in. As with every day, we will be back with more new sports entertainment, crazy wild happenings, the latest hijinks and shenanigans right here on the NBN Lot in-game on the radio, and, of course, live on stream. So until tomorrow, I'm Laz. I'm Jack. And we are NBNN. Don't forget, release 46 hits tomorrow morning. We'll see you all tomorrow, folks. Bye-bye. Put the song in the Discord.